Hi, welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. So today I'm going to show you how to make Italian sausage balls that we're going to cook in the air fryer oven. So basically, I took, I had eight uh, Italian sausages uh, that came in a pack. I took the skin off the sausage, cut it up into pieces, rolled it into a ball, and that's how I came up with the Italian sausage balls. So I'm going to um, show you I'm gonna just the camera, and I'm going to show you what I did so far, and then we're going to put it in the air fry, and we're going to take it from there, okay? All right. One second. Okay, so I'm all set up now. So here's my uh, Italian sausage balls that I made, which I took again. I'm going to repeat. The, I had uh, eight, uh, eight Italian sausages that came in a pack. I took it out the skin. Here's the skin that I took off of it. Okay, I took it out the skin and I cut it up into pieces. Here's the piece sizes, okay? And then I rolled it into a ball like this. Okay? And I just kept doing that. I have two more pieces that I can roll up here for you. And I just kept doing that until I got it all into balls, okay? And the last one. Okay, so there we go. We have all our Italian balls there. Let me just wash my hands. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some seasonings on it. I'm going to put a little garlic on the top, just a little, okay, and a little Lari's. And some pepper. So let me just show you my seasonings I'm working with. The pepper. garlic and lorries okay all right so here's our Italian balls that uh, just want you to get an eye view of that so to go to show you you can buy the Italian sausages and you don't have to cook it in its original form okay so this is what I did also you could just take it and out of the skin and have it ground up just like you have ground up hamburger you can have ground up Italian sausage all right and this pan right here I have some frozen peppers and onions here's the bag it came in okay okay so we're going to cook this all at the same time I'm going to put the sausage on the bottom rack and I'm going to put another rack in above that. Skip a space and go up one step above that. So I'm the second slot from the top with the peppers and onions. Okay, so we'll get it all in. Oh, my handle's coming off. What is this? Oh, to see how to fix that. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. Let's cook that on uh, high. At, one, at 370 is good. So we're on 370, that's good. And how many minutes we got here? Okay, 15 minutes, let's go with that. Alright, and we'll be back in between. Okay, so our 15 minutes have stopped. I wanted you to take to check out how the Italian sausage balls look. 
uh, in my opinion, they're not ready yet. So I want to put them back in for about another three minutes, and then I'm going to take a temperature, okay? So I'm going to do that. And here is the uh, peppers and onions, the frozen peppers and onions that we had. They are done, okay? So these took 15 minutes. So we're going to add another three minutes, which would be a total of 18 minutes on the meat, Italian meatballs. Let me put that back on. 370 for another three minutes, and we'll take a temperature. Okay. And I'll be right back. Okay, so our time has stopped. We, um, my handle, the strew came out of my handle on this side. I just want you to see that. Uh, and I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. So in, just in case it happens to you, that has definitely happened to me. So I'm going to open it from the side so that I don't put any pressure on the last handle. Alright, and we want to check the temperature here on the... Italian sausage meatball. So I have to stick it through quite a few. See what temperature we're going to come up with. Okay, so I'm up to 140. I need it to be at least 145. So I'm going to put this back in. And let's just give that another five minutes. So I'm going to put it back on 370 again for five minutes. And we'll be back. Okay, so our last three minutes have stopped. Let's take a temperature on this. So we're going to take the temperature on the Italian meatball. Italian meatballs, okay. Okay, we're there. We're 152. We're good. Okay, so they are done. So now, what I like to do is I'm going to put it in a container and, um, well, why don't I plate up first and show you how I would like for, to display this, okay? So give me a second, let me get a plate. How is that off? Okay, I want to show you one more time. Let's get another picture of that. Great, great. You like that? Okay, so let me get a fork and let me take a taste. Okay. We'll eat a meatball first. Mmm. I actually like it better without the skin on the uh, sausage. Okay, now I'm going to get some rice and onions and peppers. Mmm. I like it. The um, peppers and onions is coming through really, really strong. And it looks great on the plate. It's a great presentation, right? Can't beat that presentation. 
correct? Okay. Okay, so now that I've enjoyed that scrumptious meal, I want you to try it. See if you like it. So now you see that you can do something to make the Italian sausage uh, into Italian meatballs or you can take and cook it as a ground, like it's a ground beef. Take it out the casing, mix it up, and cook it just like you would cook ground beef. Okay? Alright, great. Let me give you the word of, of the day. So let's say that you don't have much to eat in your house. Try to keep some rice and some beans in your house at all times if you can and maybe some eggs okay and you can you can eat that because that would be a good meal for the night okay sometimes we can't afford meat sometimes we can't afford all the side meals so we have to do what we can with what we have okay so try doing that. And even to stretch your budget. You don't have to have meat every night. You know, sometimes you can have beans and rice. Okay? Try that. I think you might find that you'll still be living the next day. Okay? All right. This is Grandma Ray. Don't play. And I want to thank everyone from uh, those who subscribed in the beginning to those who recently subscribed. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for sharing the videos. I've gotten the word back that people have been sharing more with the videos and others and their families and friends are enjoying it. It's something that you all can have a conversation around, right? Okay, so keep doing what you've been doing. I appreciate it, okay? Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.